right guys, Jennifer here, and today I am going to show you my real life stove top and oven. It's a little scary, so be prepared. You've been warned. Stove top after our delicious breakfast, and um, in the four years that we've had this oven, I have never ever cleaned the inside or this glass. Oh. Here we go. Cleaning paste. Much better. Hey boy, come here. Stand right there. You ready? Everybody ready for the reveal? Here we go. Let's count it down. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Is that amazing? I can see my. didn't think that the cleaning paste was going to be able to get the baked on grease off of my stove glass. Um, I am blown away right now and um, a little shocked. Oh. <laughs> Do you think I should make always something? Maybe. Maybe to play with? Okay guys, so I'm not gonna lie, I did not know if it was gonna get my four years of grease um, off of my glass. I am blown away, I always am. I don't know why I ever seem to doubt Norwex because it never ceases to amaze me. My stove is sparkling, as you can see, and it literally only took about 10 minutes per glass um, to get all of that grease off. It's incredible. I was able to do it around my children because the fumes, there were no fumes. Um, traditional chemically laden stove cleaners, um, they actually say to like vacate your house because it smells so bad. I am pleasantly surprised 
how easy it was, how beautiful it got my glass. You can see my hand. You can see my hand. It's incredible. Da -da -da -da. Quick, easy, shiny, clean. A little bit of cleaning paste, a spironet, an envirocloth, and a window cloth to shine. Are you tired of picking your kitchen cloth up off of the ground? If your kids are anything like mine, they dry their adorable little hands and then for some reason, just toss it on the ground. This leaves it for me to pick up a thousand times a day, um, killing my back and uh, probably taking up a lot of my time. I haven't timed it, but there's probably a statistic out there about how many minutes you spend of your life picking up the kitchen cloth. Anyway. I'm about to solve your problem. Simply take the end of your cloth, pull it, thread it through the back, thread it through the loop, pull it down. You can make it all fancy if you want. Ta da! Save your back, save some minutes out of your entire lifetime, and thread your kitchen cloth. Thanks for watching!